Hi, have you been using Vimeo recently? Have you noticed that they've changed their interface? Well, I recorded a video in January and in the short space of time, they have gone and changed some of the interface and it is confusing people. So I was asked to re-record that video showing the new changes. So that's what we're gonna be covering in today's video. Hi, my name is Jason Kruger and I help heart-centered businesses build and automate their online marketing systems. Now, as I said in the intro, Vimeo have recently changed their interface and it's confusing a few people who have watched my last video because there have been some changes. Once you know where you're going, some of those changes are quite evident and you'll go to some of the screens that I showcased in the last video. Some of the first parts of the interface have changed and that's what we're going to be covering today so i can show you where to go and find those settings that i covered in the last video and we'll go through those again anyway so let's go uh, into my account and let's have a look around here we are we're back in my vimeo account and this is a plus account so there are going to be uh, additional features that a free account doesn't have so these are all the videos that I that I have, and a lot of the interface has not changed here. It's still the it's still the same. So we're just going to click into this video, and this is where those changes have been made. So when you click on your your video, you get taken to the screen, and they've done it to try and help people navigate around their system. And yes, it. You know it does make it a lot easier but when you're used to the old interface it does take a little bit of looking around and finding where all the all the other bits and pieces were so if you've uploaded your your video you can just go up here now and click on uh, the privacy settings so by clicking on this button we've now gone into the privacy section and this is where you can change if it's private, if people can access it via password, if you're just gonna hide it uh, away from Vimeo, um, or if it's just gonna be for you to, to view, or if you're just gonna completely make it public. So that is a kind of a short navigation uh, that they've now uh, created. And you can also now set where this video is going to be embedded. You can then also allow downloads or, or not. If I click on this little link at the top, this is going to be where you're going to get the, the link if you've set it to, to private, where you can share this with other people, as it says here. So you can then uh, go and customize uh, the colors uh, and the player settings as well. So let's just close this down. If I click on here, this is where I'm just gonna get the embed code. So if you want to embed it on your website, this is where you will go publish it to social media. So now you can connect your Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Shopify accounts, and then post your videos to those sites as well. So this whole part here is to really make it a lot easier for you to go and navigate and get to those settings a lot quicker. Now, if I click on this privacy button, again, it's just using those same settings uh, that we had when we click on them at the top the player. Now this is where we can customize a lot of these areas. So you can go and you can change the thumbnail. You can change the color of it as well. And if I click on this area, we can now decide what it is that we want to show on this video. So I've set it so that the profile picture, title and byline are all switched off. Um, but we also give the option for users to decide. So let's just switch that off and then we just go back and remove those. So now we completely set it how we want it uh, to be set. And then the same on this side, click on this and you can switch all of these off. If I click on this bottom bit here, this is where you can now customize the play, the player functions. So do you want them to, to see the, the video full screen or show the Vimeo logo, etc. Now, depending on what account you have, some of these might not be available. So let's just switch that off. So now the Vimeo uh, logo has now been switched off. So once I've made all those changes, what I need to do now is click on save. And now I can click on analytics. 
and it's now going to take me to kind of the old screen uh, that we had before where we can look at all the analytics of our video. So let's just go back. And now if we click on advanced, this is where it's going to take us to the page where all our old settings were uh, or are hiding. So this is going to be the screen that a lot of people are going to be familiar with. This is the screen that I go through in my last video. So under general, we can go and change the, the title, the description, the thumbnail. We can now create a GIF as well, get our links and make all these changes. And if we wanted to, we could replace this video as well. So this is the old screen. Uh, under embed this again where we get all our embed codes uh, and change the controls so as you can see they've changed this interface so that it's easier for you to do it just on that front page you don't have to go into these uh, advanced settings if you don't want to you could do a lot of this from that page And then we're going to the interaction. Now, if you want to see how I set up uh, my videos, especially when I put them into membership sites, then please view my first video uh, on Vimeo as I go through these settings in a lot more detail. So this is just a quick recap of that last video, as well as showing you all the new interface features that they've implemented in your account. So I'm hoping this video has helped you understand how this new interface works, where to get those settings that you might be missing. Uh, and if you are looking to see how I set up my videos for membership sites, etc., then please view my other video on Vimeo. I will put a link in the description for that as well. So I hope you found this quick video helpful, just showing you this new interface for Vimeo. Then please look to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell as well so that you get notified when I next post a video. So I hope you found this useful and just remember you can do it. Sometimes you might just need a little help. I'll see you on the next one.